guys welcome to the second video i am so proud of you for showing up congratulations for making it to your second video i am proud of you and you inspired me let's write the code today we understood the uh, concept of binary search yesterday and today we are going to write the code so let's do this we are going to acs so this is the most basic question based on binary search basically you have to search an element in sorted array so you are given an array in sorted manner as you can see the elements are sorted you are given the size of the array also and you are given which element you have to find you have to return one if the element is present you have to return minus one if the element is not present okay so let's start writing the code firstly we have to find whether an element exists or not between two points right between two points now we are going to keep changing these two points either we are going to search the first half or the second half right let's first put these two points into two variables so let's just call them lower and higher variables you can write any names so lower variable right now is zero and higher variable is n minus one so basically you have to find whether element k exists between zeroth index and n minus first index or not right so you have to search in your entire array what is the size of the array it goes from index 0 to index n minus 1 so this is where you have to find now we are going to keep dividing our array into half 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 right and we are going to search whether element exists in the first half or the second half or if the middle element is the uh, answer or not we are going to search if k is the middle element itself or whether it uh, exists on the left half or the right half so for that we have to write a while loop we have to keep dividing our array into half 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 now till when will we keep dividing the array right so what will be the condition of this while loop let's see that and if we don't find the element we are basically going to return minus one as it is mentioned to us we have to return minus one if we don't find it and when we find it we have to return one right so there should be some condition based on which we have to keep running our code right what will be the condition see here what we had seen we are checking between zero and n minus one index right now right now we are going to check between zero to suppose mid index and otherwise we are going to check between mid to n minus one then again we are going to divide into half again we are going to divide into half or half some way right till when we have to keep doing this until there is only one element to compare right suppose there were eight elements to compare in the starting then after that there were only four elements after that there were only two elements after that there was only one element to compare like that right so once there is only one element to compare we can be sure whether the element exists or not if this element itself is the element that we are looking for then yes it exists if it is not then no it does not exist okay so till when we have to keep searching till the lowest index and the highest index does not become same basically till our l value is less than or equal to h right so whenever l becomes equal to h we can stop searching over there because we know then whether it exists or not right because we are going to keep dividing our array into half 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 we are going to keep making it smaller if only one element is there then we can be sure whether it exists or not right so after that we don't have to search so here our condition is going to be while l is less than or equal to h right now in this what we have to do we have to find the middle element so we are going to do l plus h by 2 this is how you find the middle element there's a catch over here we'll come back to that later but for now let's write the basic code right we after finding the middle element what will we do we have to check whether the element k is smaller than the element that exists at this middle index or it is going to be bigger so this mid value is actually the index don't get confused between that l and h were index values so mid is also an index value okay don't get confused between that it is not the value at the index it is the index itself so basically we have to compare the element that is at middle and we have to compare k okay and when comparing array of mid and k there can be only three possibilities right so let's write the three possibilities so if array of mid is greater than k we are going to do something right and this is one condition that is possible else if array of mid is less than k this is one condition that is possible the other third condition will be when it is equal right when it is equal it means that we have found our element right so we are going to return one what does this mean we found the element what was this minus one basically we went to the condition where l was maybe less than h and we did not find the element see when we keep making the array smaller 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 it will be smallest when l will be equal to h in that condition if we would have found we will return one otherwise we will just come out of the while loop so here we will return minus one if element does not exist so element does not exist 
So we have put the condition when we find the element, when we are sure that the element does not exist. Now how to divide the array and go ahead. For that, let's get back to our diagram. Now see, we are finding element K and we have one element array of mid over here, right? Now if K is bigger than this, right? Then we have, we are sure that K will exist on this half, right half, right? So he, right now our L was here, our H was over here. If it is greater than, then we know that our answer will be in this side, right? So if K is greater than array of mid, then we know that our answer is going to be on right side. In that case, what we can do is we can move our lower pointer to over here, mid plus one. Now you will say why mid plus one and not mid? Because it is greater, it is not equal. So we are sure that, okay, it is not the middle element. It will be, if it is present, it will be after the middle element itself. If it was present, it would be in the third condition where array of mid will be equal to K, right? And if K is less than array of mid, then what we are going to do? Then we are going to be sure that our element K exists on left side. So in that case, we are going to move our H on this side. So we are going to move our H to mid minus one. So basically, this is our array. We have to divide into half. Basically, we have an element K and by comparing it to the middle element, we can be sure whether our K exists on the left side or on the right side or if it does not exist at all. Okay. So here, when array of mid is greater than K, that means the middle value is greater. That means our K can exist on the left side. So we don't have to consider the right side at all now. So to consider the left side, what are we going to do? We are going to make the higher point move to mid minus one right and here we know that our middle element is less than k right so our middle element is less so our k will exist on the right side so in this case what we are going to do we are going to move our lower value to mid plus one and that's it so actually this is all we have to do we will dry run also first let's compile and run it ran let's submit so we have passed all the test cases also note guys here that expected time complexity was order of log n and the space complexity was order of one. We did not use any extra space, right? And time complexity for binary search is order of log n, right? And here time constant was given 10 par 6, so log n works. For those of you for whom it is still not clear, let's dry run also and see. Let's take the example of having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and we are searching for the element 6, okay? So here our lower value is going to be 0. So this is the index and our higher value is going to be 5. So this is the index. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So fifth index, we have 6. Okay. So in the while loop, we are going to check is L less than or equal to H? Yes. So we are going to find the middle element. It is going to be 5 by 2. Right. So here it is going to be 2. So what is the middle element? That is 0, 1, 2. It is 3 basically. So we are going to compare 3 and 6. So we know that array of mid is less than 6, right? So we know that our 6 is going to be on the right side. So what are we going to do? We are going to change our L value to mid plus 1, which is 3. And we are going to keep our same H value, which is 5, right? Now again, we are going to go in the, inside the while loop. Now 3 is less than or equal to 5, right? So we find the middle element again which is equal to 8 by 2, which is equal to 4. Now we check again, what is at the fourth index? It is 5, right? So we now check array of mid, which is 5. We know that it is less than 6, right? So we know if our element exists, again, it is going to be on the right side. So we move our L to mid plus 1. So basically our L now becomes 4 plus 1, which is 5, and our HS is still 5. Now we again check the while loop. It is going to be 5 and 5 only. So it is equal. We are still going to go inside the while loop. And mid value is still 5 plus 5 by 2, which is 5 only, right? So we check the value at the fifth index. And yeah, that is 6. We find it. We return 1. Now, suppose we were finding the element 7 instead of 6. Now, first iteration would still be same, right? Second iteration would still be the same. Now, in the third iteration, what will happen? L is equal to 5 h is also equal to 5 and we check the middle value which is equal to 5 and we know that okay it is not equal now what will happen now we know that the middle value that we have is 6 and the k value is 7 so we are going to move our l to basically mid plus 1 which is going to become 6 and our h is going to become equal to 5 now since this is going to happen we are going to get out of while loop so this is how we make sure 
that we don't get stuck in the forever while loop that is why while loop condition that our l is less than or equal to h is very very important otherwise what's going to happen you're going to keep moving your l or you're going to keep moving your h and you will get stuck in a forever loop one last point which is extremely important while writing code of any binary search question whenever we find the middle element and when we write l plus h by 2 we can actually lead to overflow so if you run it in a lot of places this is going to lead to overflow since we were doing basic level question i think the gfg test cases were not of this level but any interviewer will definitely expect you to take care of this like if even if you're giving like basic level interview you should know this for sure that instead of writing this you should be writing l plus h minus l by 2 why is that actually if we see these two things are exactly same only because if we take the lcm it's going to actually become the same thing. It becomes L plus H by 2 only. Then when, then why am I asking you to write like this and not write like this? Let's discuss that. See the integer values that we write in our code have a maximum value, right? So there is one int max value that we have. Let's for now consider that our integer max value was say suppose 10, right? Now if our L value also becomes 10 and our H value also becomes 10, then what happens when we do L plus H? Now, compiler, what will it do? It will do 10 plus 10 and upon 2. So, in this case, this 20 becomes bigger than the max value that our compiler can handle. So, that is why overflow happens, right? On the other hand, if we write 10 plus 10 minus 10 by 2, in this case, what will happen? This will become 0, so it will become equal to 10. So, in this case, there is no overflow happening. So, this is one example that I have given you. Otherwise, int max value is very huge. So, if you take any two big numbers, it doesn't have to be int max. See, whenever you are adding any two big values, you can lead to overflow. Let's take a few examples. Let's actually run the code and see. To prove it to you, I have written this very short code. So, as you can see here, first I have output the value of int max, so which is this. Okay, after that, I took my L and H value as int max itself. So, since both the values of L and H is same, what should be the middle value? It should be int max itself, right? The value should be same. But when I do L plus H by 2, the value that I got was minus 1. Why? Because overflow happened and the sign bit got set. So, that is why the output was minus 1, which was wrong. Instead of that, when I do L plus H minus L by 2, what happens? H minus L becomes 0. So, when we do, when we output L, there is no overflow happening. So, we get the right answer. And again, I have taken the example of int max and int max, but any huge L and H values such that overflow can happen, this problem will come. That is why from now on, for all the binary search questions, whenever we have to find the middle element, instead of finding L plus H by 2, we will be finding L plus H minus L by 2. And this is it for today enough knowledge tomorrow we are going to do another variation which will be easy question itself do show up you're doing great we have to show up every single day we have to work on our consistency so do show up tomorrow i will do as well and thank you so much hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon so that you are notified and you can watch tomorrow's video thank you so much take care Ta -ta.